Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Friday special installment of Webinar Wednesdays. Uh, we are excited to have an expert panel today talking about Section 201. Um, before we get started, just a couple things. Um, we will be recording this webinar, so we will be able to give you a copy of this afterwards, and we will have that posted um, on our website, and we will direct everyone to it. And um, we are going to take questions at the end. So if you have any questions, please type them into the question box. I will be keeping track of those questions and we will run through those at the end. Um, we are supposed to go until 1245. Um, if we go over with questions, um, hopefully we can stay on for those. But if we get to any questions that are not answered, uh, we can certainly direct those to the right people and get those taken care of at the end. And with that, I would like to introduce Jeremy Duchin, who is the VP of Business Development here at Sologit. He's going to get us started. Great. Thank you, Nadia, and welcome, everybody. Um, we are excited to have a phenomenal panel today. Um, and I just want to go ahead and introduce uh, my other panelists before we uh, talk just a, a minute about Sologit and, and, and lay the ground for 201. Uh, with us today is, is Pavel Machinov, uh, Senior VP and Equity Research Analyst at Raymond James. Uh, an incredible research on solar. Uh, they, they do some great, some great work, and also, of course, are a very large financial institution, doing everything from uh, financial services to banking and asset management. Also, returning with us is Gary Schlossberg, senior economist at Wells Fargo. We're very fortunate to have uh, Gary. Uh, Wells Fargo is a, is a, a great partner with Stolagen, and of course, the third largest bank uh, in the country. Um, also with us today is Vincent Ambrose, uh, the general manager of North America Canadian Solar. Uh, Canadian Solar is uh, one of our top manual, module manufacturers and partners with Sologen. We're proud to carry them, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to having Vincent's uh, perspective uh, on uh, modules and, and uh, how 201 impacts uh, modules. Uh, also with us is uh, Jonathan Duchin, CEO of Sologen, uh, running all of, uh, all of Sologen, uh, all of the international operations, as well as uh, really an impressive uh, energy background in policy and in business. Um, so I'd like to take a, a, a minute, uh, for many of you know uh, about uh, Solgent, but we have uh, literally about 500 people from across different industries today. Um, so uh, a little bit about Solgent, we are the, the one of the largest solar distributors in the U.S., 38 years doing business. Um, basically, everything that you need as an installer, we try to provide, from the equipment uh, to the, the financing, uh, the, 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 the different uh, credit terms, uh, as well as designs. Uh, we do residential uh, and, and commercial permit designs, uh, feasibility studies. Uh, our team has uh, hundreds of years of collective solar experience. Uh, started out in 1979, we were Solar Depot DC power systems, uh, joined by Conergy and later Sunwise. You can see here uh, some of the major modules, inverters, and racking that we carry, and we have a nationwide distribution uh, with warehouses in Northern and Southern California, as well as New Jersey and Hawaii. Um, and here's some of our, our financing partners. Uh, many people don't know that we have an expert operations and maintenance uh, team in-house that has a very experienced team that's done over 500 megawatts of commercial and residential solar projects. So I say that, that if you um, are an installer that uh, doesn't currently do O&M, let us help you out. Uh, let us add to your bottom line uh, when you're closing a contract, um, and we can help uh, support you in, in getting those, uh, those services on O&M, uh, really adding a lot to the margin across the country. So contact us at, at O&M at Sologen.net or, or see online. I also want to uh, give a big shout out to our Sologen Elite dealers on the line. Sologen Elite is our top uh, loyalty program uh, for, uh, for our top customers providing benefits from everything from cash back for every dollar spent to elite specials and discounts, elite dealer certification, different thank you gifts. Um, I also want to highlight our Solgen Sky app, which is our essentially the, the same as the iOS site survey, or the same as the Sun Isol metric, very similar capacity, um, and our dealers have raved about that, as well as feasibility studies and free designs. All of this is provided to our Solgen Elite dealers for free. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in finding out more about that, you can find that on our website. Um, so if you haven't, if you hadn't checked out, please give us a call. We're really here to help you with everything that you need 
um, to, to, to be successful in your business. Uh, a couple uh, facts about uh, the, uh, the 201 uh, tariff, uh, just to lay the groundwork for our conversation today. Uh, as, as you all know, a four-year decline tariff on imported solar cells, and that starts at 30% in year one, goes and declines to 15% in year four, uh, with a 2.5 gigawatt annual tariff exclusion. Now, we're still trying to figure out uh, because the administration has not yet released it, it's, it's coming in the annexes, uh, how that 2.5 gigawatt annual tariff exclusion will be allocated. Um, and, and so there's a lot of information yet to come uh, from uh, the presidential proclamation was released last Tuesday. Uh, we're still expecting information. The tariff goes into place in just a few days on February 7th at, at 1201. Um, and Countries and companies both can apply for exclusions. We're not expecting many to get exclusions, um, although a number of companies are currently applying. Um, also important to note that Canada, Mexico, Korea, Singapore, um, major module manufacturing companies, uh, countries are expected to be hit with the tariff and not receive um, exclusions. The um, 201 impact, to kind of sum it up, uh, and, and you'll hear a lot more from our panelists today. The impact is slight for residential, um, quite large for utility. Uh, some of the some of the best industry uh, analysts out there, SIA is projecting a 23,000 job hit. Um, so it's sizable, but as far as the comparative growth, it, you know, there, it, it, we're, we're still expecting a rosy picture. Um, GTM is expecting 11% decrease in U.S. solar installations um, compared to what we would have otherwise seen. So I think that's really important to note. Still um, a positive opportunity, but utility will be hit the largest. Um, GTM suggesting an average of about 10 cents a watt uh, a year uh, impact and, and prices uh, falling to four cents a watt in year four. Um, and so, you know, we've already seen some price in uh, leading up to the tariff into prices. Um, and our panel can talk about that a little bit more. But on an average, you're looking at five to 10 kW residential system, an average increase of about 500 to $1,000 in cost. So we're gonna to continue to likely see a trend towards lower cost modules over time as we have. Uh, this will just help expedite that. Uh, but worth noting that the US solar companies have roughly two gigawatts on hand, um, expected, uh, expecting you know, some of the, the price increases to perhaps be prolonged over the over the coming months um, so that's a little bit setting up uh, the facts of 201 with that um, I'd like to go ahead and hand it over to Pavel um, with uh, Raymond James <laughs>